Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I told you the Case Shiller report was going to come out and it was going to make headlines. It always does. And it's always a couple months late, which is okay because they compile a lot of data. So if you really want a snapshot of what's going on in the United States real estate market, they have a lot of numbers to share with you and they're sharing this one right now. And as expected, it's making major headlines. The U.S. home prices posted first annual decline since 2012 well real estate's been going up steadily since 2012 and so this is an annual decline this april compared to last april on a year over year percentage basis and i'm going to show you the charts and explain what's going on and i'm going to tell you how arizona falls into this headline and it may surprise you so anyway if we go and we look at actual year over year appreciation i'm going to clean this up here just a moment so bear with me I want to only put the two years that we're talking about here and that is 22 and 23 you can see here that in January of last year we were up annually 26.2 percent exploding going absolutely nuts then the interest rate hikes came in and then down 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 we went now this is annual okay so annually we actually ended up in the negative territory in December but nationally, it took everybody until April to finally get to that point. We're still there. We're still down, down annually 6.6%. In April, we were down 7.5%. Where were we at nationally? Fell 0.2% in April. We're down a lot more than they are on an annual basis. Why do I keep repeating the word annual? Well, I'm going to show you what happens to the prices and what's going on with this currently because when people see this headline now they go oh real estate is crashing I've told the example of my friend up here and he goes I hear real estate's down 30 percent I go it's not even close not even close what are you looking at? he goes I don't follow it I my house is paid off here's where we are in Arizona right here okay so our percentage of growth right now this is our price per square foot that's going up not down folks so while nationally and even locally for us, our annual rate of growth is down, our prices are going up every week and on a month over month basis, they're starting to climb back up. But annually, you'll see that we're down versus last year. So that's a very different way to look at the market. But if you were looking at the market and saying, well, the price is going up or down right now, they're going up. There's no doubt that they are climbing now Zillow did a study and they did a study on affordability not affordability availability on household formation this line here is how many households are being formed you know our kids moved out they need a place to live they're renting they want to buy they can't afford it and they really can't afford it because we don't have enough homes available so they came out and said in their study that Phoenix is short by 87 thousand homes now, that's a lot of homes now um, like anything when there's a shortage prices will go up yes I'm sorry but it is always about supply and demand right now we're seeing enough supply our, our new listings coming up are being gobbled up at the rate of 94 percent that's pretty hefty that means 94 percent of new listings are going under contract that's going to put pricing pressure up so it's not so much how much supply we have and how much demand we have it's the relationship between the two so if there's a lot of supply and nobody's buying then prices are going to come down if you have a low supply and nobody's buying at all prices can still come down so it's all about that gap it's like the price of oil when they stop producing oil or they cut it back by a million barrels a day like they were talking about prices go up when there isn't enough wheat bread flour goes up not enough eggs remember that avian flu all the birds were dying not enough eggs prices went up it's the same with everything not enough homes prices going up now they beat that with a dead horse that 87,000 home shortage is probably a bit of a challenge for us in Arizona for one big reason and that's water do we need 87,000 homes? Yep. How are we going to get them? Well, we're probably not going to build our way out of it. And even if we decided we wanted to, it's going to take a long time. So getting our way out of this 
you know, this acceleration of prices, it's going to take a little bit of work. Many of the communities are probably not going to be able to expand at the rate that they want to do because they have to find a different water source outside of just groundwater. So we've got that going on. Now, HSBC came out and said that there's a high likelihood that we're going to be in a recession. But I wanted to comment on one thing that they said here. It's sad because you're hearing everybody talk. There's a big recession coming. It's going to kill everything. Well, the silver lining is that we expect high inflation to moderate relatively quickly. This will create an opportunity for policymakers, central bank, to cut rates. Despite the hawkish tone adopted by central bankers and the apparent stickiness of inflation, particularly at the core level, HSBC Asset Manager Management expects the U.S. Federal Reserve to cut interest rates before the end of 2023 with the European Central Bank and the Bank of England following suit the next year. They're going to have to follow after us because their inflation is considerably hotter than us. But where have you heard this before? They might cut. The bond market is just kind of ho-humming this week. We're waiting to see what's going to go on in July. And they're just not budging. There's no good news or bad news that's moving the bond market. So expect interest rates to kind of stay where they're at. And as Pat says, just kind of muddling along. And that's where we're at. There's no news that's moving interest rates. We're at 6.9 today. Are they going to raise in July like they said they might? They said that there's a, there's a likelihood that we're going to have two more rate hikes. The bond market is kind of considering that they might, but they're waiting. So the bond market is not going down like you think they would if the central bank were to come out and say, well, we're actually going to pause for a little while here. You would see rates coming down. But because they said they're going to raise it a couple more times, rates are staying right this one level. Now, if inflation numbers come in really good, does that mean they're going to cut in July? Well, I'm no bond market expert, so I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But the, the possibility for them to cut before the end of the year has been laid out by the asset manager of HSBC out in England. So that's going to be just one more thing to watch in this real estate market. Building is increasing. We're still short homes. Despite the people that drive out here and point to the houses and say we have too many, they could not possibly be more wrong than they are. When you look at the actual numbers and you look at the demand, we're in a pickle. How long is it going to take to get out of this? Looks like we're going to be in this pickle for a while. If we have a really hard recession, of course, things could change. So we'll just keep watching the numbers. And I thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Take care.